Yeah, in America you have freedom to wear earrings, put makeup, uh, fuck who you want, uh, do the drugs, protest. Mm -hmm. But that's also not really free speech. I mean, that, free, that, that means, and free know, speech right. and uh, yeah, it's totally. All, but you know, let me tell you something. Things, right? But let me ask you one question: If the powers that really control America, which are beyond the White House, we well, am talking about the real powers that control America, really felt that free speech was would endanger their position, they would shut it down. I mean, they walked on uh, Occupy Wall Street with horses and tear gas. Because what they were saying, the, the awakening message that Occupy Wall Street was sending to the rest of America shook a foundation that didn't, they didn't want to be shaken. The same as the hippie movement. The hippie movement happened, these, these people have been working since the mid-50s, and it's, this is no conspiracy, you can read books about it, books written by them that changed America from an ideological political entity to an economical political entity and to a uh, um, uh, corporate political entity. But do you think the Wall Street movement is as influential or, or powerful or popular as the hippie movement no. in the 60s? But, no, 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 they wouldn't even allow it to move there. Political and social change are being demanded and government needed to adhere. And their, and their system of propaganda and control was not as developed in the late 60s and 70s. Today, because I think of that shakedown that happened in the late 60s and 70s, they really tightened up what pop is, the, the schooling systems, who goes to jail or not. I'm talking about may all levels of society, who gets the good education and what is a good education. And that is freedom. So they've created a system where you're either in the system or you're fucked.